got the money? You sure this is gonna make it to Cleveland? Ad said as is. It's all there. She's all yours. We got a bus! A political satire show so of course we wanted to go to the Republican National Convention unlike most Republicans and last week it just came to me why not make the journey from New York to Cleveland by bus everyone's got a bus but hardly anyone has Herman Cain's bus plus it'll be such a great team building exercise for the sharpest staff in late night they are so psyched what is that smell Smells like cheese got chlamydia. Some say Trump is a great negotiator, but nobody could have gotten a better deal on this sweet ride. Who's ready for 500 miles of fun? Oh, they're already on the bus. Okay, it's gonna be amazing. Uh, duck, 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 duck it, duck it! Woohoo, Cleveland! Here we come! Okay, road trip! Who brought all these blazers? I think these are all Sam's. Where's my bag? Oh, I think it's under these blazers. Nope, just more blazers. 99 bottles of beer on the wall, 99 bottles of beer. Don't be shy. Take one down, pass them around. 98 Everybody sits while the bus is in motion. Where do I know that guy from? He must drive my casino shuttle. I thought I knew everything about elections, but 2016, we're in uncharted territory. I'm like Lewis and oh. Clark, but on an interstate. I don't know what those guys were complaining about. Travel is awesome. Are you having fun, Ashley? No. <gasps> Me too. Some call Pennsylvania flyover country, but you can't talk to voters from an airplane. And what better place to do it than the oldest gas station in America? It's in Altoona. Oh, Reichardt's gas station in Altoona. A lot of people think that Pennsylvanians are just, you know, snobby Republicans, but we're not. We have two different sides to us. I mean, a lot of us want to see Hillary in office. You are a battleground state for the first time since Gettysburg. You're the belle of the ball. Let me spin you, let me twirl you. La da da dee da da. I'm a trumpet. Yes. You're a trumpet. We want Trump to trumpet all over the world and help us put this country back together. Okay. Sometimes we all need a little startling alarm to wake us up. So he's like America's alarm clock. He's kind of like America's alarm clock. Ding, 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 ding. Get out of our country. We don't want you here. <laughs> you Mexicans. Oh, okay. Well. La da da doo. La -da -da -dee -da -da. You're a beautiful special princess. You're a first time voter. Yes, I am. In this election. Yeah. Are you so excited? Really excited. Oh my gosh. What are you going to do? Who's it going to be? I have no idea. Pennsylvania is a big state. It's going to take two blonde women to cover it. So I sent my friend Alana to the Mason Dixon County Fair. Hey, Sam. Yeah, I'm here. Just washing some tiny horses. I don't know how anyone could ride these things. I voted for Trump. I'm still leaning Trump. It's definitely going to be Donald Trump. I don't really see him as a racist in my point of view, just because of people I know that consider themselves racist. He's not going to go start a war. I mean, it, it, well, yeah, but he'll be a little. Maybe a civil war. Do you know anyone of color? Yeah. Who are they voting for? Um, hmm. They're not voting for Trump. I'm actually voting third party in, in the upcoming election, Gary Johnson. Well, I voted um, Republican. She votes Democrat. I will not vote for, for Hillary. <laughs> Anyone voting for Hillary? Not that I know. She's a woman, first of all. That really, really hurts her around here because this is a very strong Protestant white male run. I don't see it being a smart <laughs> idea to put a woman in office. I don't either. I mean, I'm, I'm not sexist or anything, but when it comes to making... Pretty making sexist statement. No, I mean, it's, it's my opinion. I feel the same way he does. We don't need a woman as a president. We really don't. We're too dramatic. As a woman, I understand her point that the pay, about the proper pay for women, but at the same time, we really need to get security, like 
I would rather be paid less almost and have financial security for the country. But what if someone said that about you and, and you were working on their truck? Oh, they do all the time. And how does that make you feel? I just get angry. But do you think they're right? I know they're not, and I'll tell them that. But it is what it is. I'll say, do you want it done right or do you want it done wrong? I'll do it wrong if you're going to be sexist about it, but if you want it done right, I'll do it right for you. The voters have spoken. Hey guys, what's going on? What are you doing to my blazer collection? Cleaning them? 